Are you tired of your Spectrum GX6i looking like crap in that terrible silver and gray color? It scratches really easy. I don't think it looks good. All the new controllers come black, and I think that's the color they should have come in, uh, in the first place. So what I did is I decided to go ahead and attempt to paint mine. It turned out really well, so I thought I'd just do a quick how-to uh, paint your DX6i or any other controller that you want to uh, make a different color, whether it's black, blue, red, yellow, blah, blah, blah. You know what the rainbow is. So I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things I used and how I did this. So first off, let's go over some of the things I've, I, I needed or required for the job. So I use a nice green painter's tape that leaves very little residue underneath. It's easy to cut and it peels off nice and easy. Second up thing you're going to need is a nice little knife, preferably a razor blade, something that's sharp. So that's going to trim around uh, all the tape pieces. You're going to need the paint. I tend to use Krylon. Krylon works uh, for all applications, but this is actually the Krylon Fusion. The Fusion actually bonds the plastic. It works really good. I've used it in the past. Uh, easy to use, dries really fast, etc. This is actually the gloss black, but it came up uh, kind of satiny, so I, I do like that. Uh, next, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol. You get yourself a nice clean cloth rubbing alcohol you don't want to wipe down the controller this gets away uh takes off all your oil uh prints from your or th yeah the oil from your fingerprints off the controller because the paint won't stick to that it will just kind of bubble up and look like crap and lastly you don't need the actual plexus itself but what i did use was actually the plexus lid and so i took the, the lid off the can i put a hole in the center and then that's what i put over top of the stick because I want to make sure that I still have all my uh, identification lines here to, to uh, I, I don't know. Honestly, it, it only looks good. I've, I've never, you never look at it when you're flying, so I'm not really sure why it's there anyway. But nonetheless, uh, just makes it look cleaner and nicer. And uh, I also added, added a Decepticon sticker because Transformers are cool. Okay, so let me kind of go through how I did this. So first thing you're going to want to do, like I said, is take the rubbing alcohol. And you're going to want to wipe down the controller uh, using kind of a lint-free, lint-free either paper towel or cloth, uh, whichever you want to do. The next thing you're going to want to do is then take your tape. And you're going to want to tape off all around. So I just actually just put the tape, just took a piece, cut it, um... Laid it, laid it over top of all the pieces that I did not want painted. So either on the scroll wheel or on the display, the DX6i sticker up here, even up here. And all you do is you actually just uh, lay it right over top. Make sure you give lots of layover on each side. You then take your razor blade, nice and sharp, and then you just trim around. So when you're all done, you just pull away all the pieces that you don't want, and then your screen is still covered by the painter's tape. I painted up the antenna. Also, just taped up the, the handle. The switches, I just taped, taped up the top parts, but I left the, uh, the, the silver pieces that are connected to the controller underneath. Uh, I guess the nuts, as, I don't know what they're called. doesn't matter. Uh, I left those black because I wanted to paint those black, and, of course, then I just taped off this stuff. For the, all I used was a body reamer for an RC car. A nice hole, and then... Put that right over top. So, and then you just put yourself a paper towel in there. This way you don't get your uh, stick painted, unless you want it painted. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. So, when you're, after you're done taping everything off, I taped off, like I said, the, the DX6i sticker, the screen. I taped off the antenna, some of the chrome pieces. Also, uh, the plastic black um, handles where your hands actually grab onto. They're already black textured, so I figure there's no point in painting that up. Um, so once you have it all wiped down with the rubbing alcohol and you are have it taped off and you're all ready to paint, what I do suggest doing is taking a pot of hot water and putting the, the, the can in, the paint can in, excuse me. Let it sit in there for about five to ten minutes. It gets the paint really, really warm, 
and the paint goes on just silky smooth. Really, really nice. You're going to want to do uh, really thin coats. Then I take a hair dryer, and while it's sitting uh, you know, uh, between coats, I just take the hair dryer, and I just slightly go over top of it on warm or hot setting, depending on what the temperature is outside. Uh, right now, it's, it's, it's winter, it's January, so it's kind of cool outside, so I use the hair dryer. In the summertime, you don't normally have to do that, but uh, it just kind of speeds up the drying process. So I added probably three or four coats worth of paint, not very much, thin, nice and easy. Come back down, peeled everything off, and there you go. I mean, now you have yourself a nice black Spectrum D DX6i controller. Uh, this is my Decepticon Krylon version. Again, you can do any color uh, that you like. I do suggest using the, the Fusion for plastic, but I mean... It you know make it different. I mean, I again don't know why they they made the transmitter silver or that gray color to begin with. It's gets dirty. It looks ugly, and uh, yeah, personal preference. I mean, there's probably lots of people out there that like that look. Uh, I prefer the, the all blacked out version. Anyway, so that's kind of what I've did. That's my how to. And if you want to paint uh, your aircraft controller or any other controller, I mean, just take your time. It took me probably about an hour. Uh, masking everything off because it's the first time I've done it. Uh, the more you, uh, the more you do it, the quicker it'll be. So, give it a try, and yeah, enjoy your new colored controller, whichever color you prefer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And uh, any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section below. I will try to get back to you. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, spleeny out. Enjoy your day, and talk to you later. Bye.